Hi, this is Go For It Randy, and today I'm going to discuss some things about the Vatican and about the Pope and about the Catholic Church. So if you're involved in the Catholic Church, this is a warning video to everyone who's a Catholic. The Vatican has pagan symbols and symbology, as well as pagan statues and all kinds of things that are not Christian, okay? That do not come from the Christian religion. It comes from the pagan culture, ancient pagan occult symbolism. Now, if you look at this, this is the roof of the Vatican there. And you clearly can see on the top there, there is a cross, okay? And you can clearly see that, that the roof line there is in the shape of a cross. And that arrow down at the bottom of the page there, you can clearly see is the front of the building, um, which would make that an upside down cross. That's right. If you're looking from the front of the building, that's an upside down cross. Now, I know a lot of people are not going to like what I'm going to share with you right now, but this is the truth and it's in plain sight. See the shape of the building there? It's in the shape of a snake head. That's right. The whole building is in the shape of a snake. And you can clearly see there's two eyes right there. See the two eyes? There's the two eyes. You can see the head of the shape uh, is in a, 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 like a triangle type shape, like a viper, uh, you know, a pit viper, a snake, a serpent. And that is the, the main key and the main theme that we're going to see here. We're going to see a lot of themes that deal with the serpent. And we all know who the serpent is. That's Satan. So who is really running this church? For those of you who don't know, you're going to find out today because it's not what you think it is. So let's take a closer look here and, and see what we can find here. As we look at this, we can clearly see there's all kinds of statues all over the Vatican. You go inside the Vatican, they have all kinds of gold and glitter. I mean, I have no idea how much money they spent on this, but it must have been an absolute fortune. But when you look closer at the details that's where you see all of the hidden messages and all of the hidden signs and the dark side that is hidden right there. All right, now next to the Vatican is clearly another building that is in the shape of a snake head. Can you see it there from the aerial view here? It's literally facing the same direction as the original snake head there. Uh, but you'll see in the center of the screen coming up here is what looks like another snake head. And you can clearly see an eyeball on the side of the building there. So clearly, why are these two buildings right next to each other that are in the shape of a snake head? And then why are they giving masses in this other building that uh, is coming up in the center of the screen there? That is where they give the masses. That's called um, the audience hall. And that's where the Pope gives all the masses. Now, if you look at the Vatican, again, the main head of the snake there goes back and you clearly see where the courtyard is there and, um, and it just continues to go back. It's just a big giant snake. But if you look into the center of that courtyard, you'll look and see that the, the courtyard is expanded outward, almost like there's something in the belly of the snake. You know what I mean? And if we look into the courtyard, that's where we're going to find some more things that I think might shock a lot of Catholics. So let's take a closer look. Now, as you can see from the aerial view here, you can clearly see an obelisk is right in the very center of the courtyard there. And that obelisk came from Egypt. That's right. It's a phallic symbol. All right. It's a pagan symbol that comes from Egypt. Okay, from Horus's day, okay, back in Horus and Isis and all of these other gods that no one is supposed to worship. But why does the Catholic Church have a 4,000-year-old obelisk in the center of the courtyard there? And why are all of these statues, look at all of these statues of saints and popes and whoever else that they have all over the roof line of the entire courtyard. You can see statues all over the place. Well, the second commandment clearly says that you're not supposed to do that, all right? You're not supposed to make anything um, that is a carved image that you can worship, okay? And Mary is everywhere in the Catholic Church, okay? Go to any Catholic Church, you're going to find a statue of Mary, okay? That is not something you should bow down and literally pray to. This is against God's word. The second commandment is you shall not make for yourself a carved image. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them. But how many Catholics get down on their knees and literally pray to Mary, who was a human being, okay? 
You don't pray to a human being to get your prayers answered. They've literally put Mary above Jesus Christ. And because of that, I believe a lot of Catholics are not going to make it into heaven. Okay, because they are not following the Christian uh, Bible which is the Bible, okay? So if you look in the courtyard, you see all the statues around, but in the center of the courtyard there, you clearly see what looks like giant X's, all right? There's an X right there. There's another X. And then in the center there, see that circle in the center right around where the obelisk is there? You can clearly see what is another X. Well, if we look at a chart, we can figure this out. If we go to a pythagorean numerology chart you can find out what x is x equals six all right so what this is in plain sight is three x's so that equals six 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 that's right the number of the beast so this is clearly in plain sight and if you think this is some kind of a coincidence i'm going to show you more of those okay so you're going to find out that this is something that's a pattern that the catholic church has they have 666 in plain sight they do all kinds of things that are against god's word okay so the catholic bible has been changed they literally took the second commandment and changed it so they took that out of there so that they could worship these statues like mary and other statues to of saints and and former popes so clearly this is not right if you're a christian you know that you would not want to set foot into this place and by the way they've even had lightning strikes lately because this is going to be a place i believe when god comes down and puts his wrath down here on earth i believe the catholic church is one of the churches that is going to be rained down upon with fire and brimstone why because i don't believe this is anything to do with jesus christ this church is run clearly by lucifer and we're going to find out some more information here that a lot of catholics are not going to want to hear but this is the truth and it's written in plain sight you can see this stuff with your own eyes all right now clearly you can see what looks like a, a real snake here off to the right and you can see the the head of the snake there and then look at the building down there and you clearly see the similarities there obviously someone went to a lot of trouble to make the auditorium hall in the shape of a serpent okay in the shape of a snake head and again it's right next to the vatican all right this is where they hold all of the masses that's where the pope goes inside this building here in the shape of a snake head and that's where he gives his mass okay that's where he gives his sermons all right from the pulpit and it is the most demonic looking stage that you have ever seen when we go inside this snakehead building you are going to be blown away at the demonic stuff that they have in plain sight right there but clearly for anyone who has a brain for anyone who is clearly thinking you can clearly see that's an eyeball on the side of the building and it's on the other side as well it's made out of stained glass and when you get inside the building this will all become crystal clear that you are inside the head of the snake the head of the serpent okay and if you look at the old vatican over there you'll notice where the building is there the crown the dome above the the building over there that is the crown okay so the snake over there is wearing a crown on top of his head this one is just a modern day building and on the very top of the roof there it's literally i don't know probably thousands of solar panels it kind of looks like snake skin almost like scales so clearly there's something very obvious going on for anyone who has intelligence to see what is right plainly on the screen right now so let's take a look inside now clearly once you're inside the building you clearly can see the snake eyes on both sides of this building you are inside the head of the serpent okay which is exactly where satan wants you to be he wants you to be in his head all right and that's the stage up in the front there and you see the fangs you see the fangs coming down there and the pope he speaks in between those two uh pillars there that look like fangs there's the pope right there um and clearly he's treated like a rock star here um but you clearly see this is a setting that is definitely in the shape of a serpent because they want to tell you what truly is going on in this church and that stage is gigantic it's huge and behind the stage you clearly see one of the most demonic 
sculptures of Jesus Christ coming out of hell, and you see all these demons flying out of hell with him. Um, what is up with this? Can you imagine anyone in their right mind, you know, blaspheming God with a statue like this. You're not supposed to make any kind of carved, engraved images of anything in heaven. Jesus Christ is in heaven. You're not supposed to do this. But the Catholic Church seems to think it's okay to ignore what the original scriptures said that was written about 4,000, 5,000 years ago. I'm not sure exactly when uh, the original scriptures came out. But we're talking thousands of years, uh, certainly well over a thousand years before the Pope ever changed all the things that he did change that are inside the original text of the scriptures. So if you're a Catholic, that does not mean you are a Christian. As we begin our prayer, or as we finish our particular prayer times. When we come into church and take the holy water, or when we genuflect as we're going into our pews, we always do the same thing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. All right, now clearly this priest is, you know, moving around quite a lot there, so he's not exactly lined up with his cross, but the points of where he's making contact there are lined up with this cross. You can see right there, I'm being very fair and generous, but clearly he's on a plane that does an upside down cross. Now that is a normal one. Here he's totally making an upside down cross. That's the way he normally does it. The other one was kind of for show, um, but this is his normal routine to make an upside down cross. And I've seen this done over and over and over by priests and people who are unknowing who are Catholics, who are making a satanic upside-down cross. Oh, by the way, there's Pope John Paul II, and he's making double-fisted 666 hand signs. Yeah, you can see on his left eye over there, you can see one six, two six, three sixes. That's 666, and both hands are doing it. So he's got double-handed 666s. How on earth is he doing that? By the way, there's Pope uh, Francis, and he's doing devil horns, and I don't know if that's a, a priest or a cardinal next to him, but they're both doing a curse sign. Okay, that's a satanic curse sign to curse people. Why are they cursing people out in the audience there, okay, with these satanic hand gestures? It's because most people don't know who is running the Catholic Church? It's dark. This is the sign of the horns, a curse sign, the two fingers extended. This way, spread apart for sort of shotgun blast, you know. I always all over. figured if I when ever met the, de the devil, it'd have dirty fingernails. Go on. No, What's going on? Now take a look at Mary's hand here. She's doing a curse sign. She's doing the devil horn curse sign. And look at this. This is what they call an image of Mother Mary with baby Jesus. This is not Mother Mary and baby Jesus. That's Isis and that is Horus. Okay? So this is a completely satanic statue. But people do not have eyes to see. Look at the hand gesture that baby Jesus, that's not baby Jesus, that's actually Horus making his normal hand sign because who is Horus? He's the devil, okay? He is the goat. And there you go, there's the Baphomet, all right? And look at the hand sign that he has, the two finger hand gesture just like you saw in that statue. Here's another one of the Baphomet with two little kids. Uh, worshiping the Baphomet and this statue is being put all over the place even in uh, government installations look at this one the two finger hand pose okay so this is very clearly the goat okay the Baphomet and why are they bringing in that into this Mother Mary statue theme that they have at the theme park called the Vatican it's a demonic theme park okay get that through your head now take a look at this gigantic obelisk that is in the center of the courtyard there at the Vatican. Do you realize this is a pagan symbol? Okay, Osiris, he was a god of Egypt, and basically the only part that he was missing, he was cut up into pieces, the only part was that was missing was his penis. This is a phallic symbol of Osiris, one of the most pagan, satanic symbols you could ever imagine. How much did the Catholic Church pay 
to buy this, I believe it's about an 84 foot tall uh, obelisk and they put a cross on top of it to try and make it holy and Catholic. But this comes from Egypt. This is an Egyptian obelisk that is over 4,000 years old from Osiris. This is one of the most pagan things you could possibly put in a church. God would never approve of this. So I want you to be aware now, did you happen to notice the fence behind the woman there with the black top on? Uh, you can clearly see what appears to be three X's. Okay, so what does that mean? That means 666. And again, it's right there in plain sight for everyone to see, but most people don't see it. Look at the fencing out in the courtyard over there. See there off into the distance there? What does that look like to you? It looks like each section of the fence has literally three X's in each section. So each section of fence out there says 666. So this is something that is absolutely congruent throughout the whole area. This is idol worshiping. When you bow down on your knees to a statue, that is breaking the second commandment. And people are doing this all over the world. This is Mother Mary worship, okay? Even the priests, they put them on a pedestal. They put Mary on a pedestal and believe that she's some kind of God that can answer your prayers. You are committing idolatry if you get down on your knees to a statue of Mother Mary. So all Catholics need to be warned. You should not do any of these things that are taking place here. You should not walk into a church where there's a statue of Mary and get down on your knees. Because even if you're at the pew, you're still getting down on your knees and worshiping before an idol, which is breaking the second commandment. You remember what happened when Moses came down from the mountain and when he had the Ten Commandments that God gave him? The second commandment was don't worship any idols. Well, what were they doing? The Israelites were worshiping a golden calf, all right? They put it up on a pedestal, they got down on their knees, and they worshiped a false god, all right? There is no difference between worshiping a golden calf or worshiping Mary. By the way, what happened? Thousands of people, I believe 3,000 people were killed for worshiping this golden calf back in Moses' day. So how much punishment are you going to get as a Catholic for worshiping Mary, for praying to Mary, for doing the rosary, repetitious uh uh, prayers to Mary, which is something that Jesus said, do not do. Do not do like the pagans do. All right. So all of the people who are following Mary and are worshiping Mary and are getting down on your knees in your church in mass, worshiping Mary, you are going to fall underneath God's judgment, and he is going to judge you in the end times. Okay, on judgment day, everyone will be judged. And guess what? If you believe in purgatory, you don't believe that Jesus Christ saves you. Jesus Christ's blood is what saves you and sends you to heaven, not to purgatory. There is no such place as purgatory. So everyone who is a Catholic needs to heed the warning that is being sent to you right now. I suggest everyone who is a Catholic either walks out of the church today and never goes back and follows the true gospel according to God's word, not what some man, not what some priest. And by the way, if you call a priest father, you're also breaking another law, okay? Because God said, do not call any man here on earth your father, okay? You only have one father and your father is in heaven, our heavenly father, okay? so. Everyone who's a Catholic needs to take this as a warning. Okay, here is Pope John Paul II in his throne right there in front of you. And look at the cross that is carved into his throne there. Yeah, that's an occult upside down cross. That's a satanic symbol. And why would he be sitting there in a throne with an upside down cross like that, okay? Because I've seen those before. Yeah, there's some jewelry right there. There's a pentagram on an upside down cross. 
In fact, if you want them in gold, silver, or black, you can have any choice you want because this is out there for all the Satanists. Oh, look at that. That's a satanic temple. And look at the Baphomet in the background. Uh, there is a Satanist holding an upside down cross. Um, here is another satanic temple doing some, some kind of satanic witchcraft or something. Um, there is a, a upside down cross that says, trust Satan with a pentagram at the bottom. And here's some more Satanists doing some kind of a cult uh, witchcraft or sorcery of some kind. Here's some guy giving a speech at a satanic temple. And uh, here is a guy standing on a pentagram inside a satanic temple with upside down crosses in the back. And he's wearing white and red. You know, the same colors that the Pope wears a lot of the time. But are you kidding me? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a Catholic, get out of the church now. Okay? They worship Lucifer. They do not worship Jesus Christ. They have idol worship with Mary, okay? Mother Mary, all right? She was just a human, okay? Now, granted, God had a lot of favor with Mary, but what they've done with her image is twisted, okay? If you bow down and pray to a Mother Mary statue, you are committing idolatry. 